Hello my soccer universe. I really don't know what to make of this Europa League draw. On the one side, for Milan, I wanted to have a, I don't want to say comfortable, but you know, a decent opponent. They got that. However, I also got, and it was already the first uh, matchup out, the matchup that I really did not want to see because we had it too often. It just is always trouble. I also wanted that to lose. I actually wanted Milan to get two lose gets a relatively tough draw. Why? Because I really think this is a team that last could have beaten at least once <laughs> and they don't belong in the Europa League. Honestly, this is how I, I, I really have a good feeling about that. Maybe they should have played against the Young Boys, which was the, 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 the other team that I really like. And yeah, Young Boys also got a relatively tough draw. So um, yeah, I'm so-and-so. Again, for Milan, the team that I support most in here, of course, I think it's not a bad draw. Could have been better, but it's not a bad draw overall. And without much preamble, let's look at the um, pairings that the playoff draw got out. You see on the bottom, it's on top the pots on the bottom. Uh, the draw and you also see the chances of advancing and the first one Roma against Feyenoord a rematch of the 22 Conference League final of the Europa League quarterfinal last year and of course a few others and let's say there's no love lost between those two opponents it's not something I want to I, wanna, I want both opponents to go far yeah one of them will already go out let's see where this will go Roma are favorites they have been beating Feyenoord twice, so let's see. Feyenoord can exact some sort of revenge there. Although I really don't like to use the word revenge when it comes to this particular duel. Then Milan, and it was very in, in interesting the way that the um, team team to run was always there was always a connection. You know, Roma Italian team, Milan and, and, and Italian team. Then we had the same thing with French teams. We had it on once with poor Portuguese teams. It was actually quite interesting. Milan plays that ren. As I said, I think it's all right. It's not the easiest opponent, but it's an opponent that I think is Milan should be considered a comfortable favorites against uh, an opponent that is very hard to gauge because they can be really, really good on one day. And you have to hope that especially in their stadium, you don't get them on the on, on, on their side of the opponent that also loses some matches rather erratically. So in that sense, I'm not unhappy that Milan Drew start ran, although you know it could have been easier, but it's not the it's not a bad draw. Lance against Freiburg, I think it's an interesting one, it's also the tightest one for sure. Um but you know, it is not one that will grab uh, your seats. Then young boys get sporting, they will be outsiders against that. Recent history shows that sporting can be gotten at if they're not on to the full point, but yeah. Then uh, Benfica, yeah, I said this is the last really good opponent in their little Toulouse come to them at least. I had it out for Toulouse this time around. And I, per se, I have no ill will against Toulouse. It's just uh, having seen them twice, I really think they're not a club that belongs. So Benfica, yes, Benfica will go over Toulouse most likely. As will Braga. So I think all the three Portuguese teams got relatively beatable opponents uh, and are favorite in those. And then it was kind of uh, so and so. I think Sparta Braga against uh, Galatasaray is an interesting matchup. I think one that it will be much, much tighter than uh, one might expect because Sparta have been performing well in the Europa League. And then OM against Schachter Donetsk. Against Schachter Donetsk go to France. Let's see what will happen uh, to, to them there. I think OM should be considered the favorites. OM was one of the teams that I wanted Milan to avoid. Not only because of history, but also no generic tools. And I consider OM in that draw um, probably one of the stronger teams potentially with Sporting. But I think OM is one that I really didn't want to have uh, Milan to play against. If you look now at the overall chances, you know, since there are quite a few teams already qualified for the round 16, you see that on top. I mean, Liverpool and Leverkusen, Brighton, West Ham and Atalanta, all through, all among the top favorites. But among the playoff teams, it's Milan that is, of course, the strongest. Uh, duh. I mean, that that did not come as a huge surprise. If Milan actually win that uh, their, um, uh, tie, I actually think they could even move upon uh, above Brighton, if not, yeah, they might get around Leverkusen in that area. So this is how much favored Milan is in that one. Uh, we see that Sporting actually moved up a little, uh, a, a little bit, as did Freiburg, because they got relatively uh, decent draws from there. But we also see that Feyenoord, for instance, fell down 
because uh, with Roma you got the one opponent that you surely did not want to have and I don't think that either the fan, even the fans want to see each other again and you see also Stadrin dropped a few points because yes you play against the might of Milan I want to note that at the time of shooting I don't know the schedules yet but you may have seen them already in the video uh, when the, play, the games will be played since Milan have to play the first leg uh, it's pretty clear uh, the date uh, it's just the time when it will, will be played, so uh, that's gonna be interesting. Um, I will, I, as I said, I've tried to get it in there, and yeah, let me know what you think about that draw. Uh, if was any of your teams in there, how do you like like that draw? Um, who do you think will win the Europa League? Argument can be made: none of the teams that were in the draw were among the favorites. So let's see about that. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon, so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!